We can also acknowledge that Epic is becoming greedier every time a new cosmetic drops overpriced car bundles. Skin styles being split into two separate skins bundles, banishing and forcing people to buy individual items and now with bows and rebuck. Things that you barely see during a match and battle pass increasing ever so slightly in V-Bucks prices as well. Sometimes they receive pushback and go back down but they slowly inch further and further to see just how much they can charge. Epic is by far not the worst at this and they are a business but it's getting ridiculous seeing some of these item shops nowadays. Oh no. 2019. Guys, they're good. 2024. Guys, they're real. I don't mind the collapse, just don't put the collapse as part of the main story. Make the collapse be like a side quest mini story. They shouldn't impact the main storyline on a large scale. Fortnite has become a pure advertisement, no more. I never had problems with the mini events, but the prelude was advertised as an end of season big event, but it was basically just a mini event. I used to not have a problem with AI, but as of recently I found them really annoying. I just run around for 20 minutes looting and only finding AI, just for the last player to be super sweaty and since I'm not prepared because I've been fighting AI the entire time, I die. It's not even a skill thing either, I've hit Unreal multiple times and ranked and I've been playing for years, so I really shouldn't have a ton of bots in my game. I know most of your audience are kids, but your videos are actually entertaining to all kinds of people. I don't really play Fortnite that much anymore, but it was really important to me in 2017 to 2018. And your videos show where Fortnite is going and its current state, which I'm genuinely interested in. I usually watch video essays or more niche and heavy topics, but when I want a fun and easy watch, you're my go-to YouTuber. Keep it up, man. One of the biggest issues I've been facing is skill-based matchmaking. It straight up does not work. I've been playing Reload a lot recently, and I find myself getting killed by sweats a lot. I'm trying to play a few games for fun, and I'm going against players who should be in rank. The only other players I'm going against in Reload are bots, bummer, and Fortnite would fix skill-based matchmaking. But I think it would help a lot of people's experiences be more enjoyable. They need to put a separate dead zone for controller ads if possible, because low dead zone is good for up close, but bad for far. I've never had an issue with shields, but I agree with mobility, but people complain when there's new mobility. Give the hover jets last season for example. Attachments were crazy with all attachments and scope is pretty much a zero blue zero recoil weapon. Blue without scopes was insane back then. Coming from someone who started in chapter one, season one, I highly prefer projectile weapons. Coming from someone who started in chapter one, season one, I highly prefer projectile weapons to me personally. They feel much more satisfying and consistent. Copy a video, this is pretty much everything I have been complaining about. The Doctor Doom event was so mid like he had trillions of health But, but don't worry we are getting juice world let's hope he's a good event Rip, uh, I think it shouldn't be straight up his game but something in between I know that doesn't really make sense What I mean is that they should make bullet travel way faster and reduce the bullet drop a lot I don't know if you mentioned it in the video but they shouldn't be selling shoes for 1000 V-Bucks You could buy a pair of real shoes with that money Definitely gotta think stuff with crazy aim Cause sometimes I'll be shooting at someone and miss everything And then they just hold down the trigger and nearly every bullet hits me I hope they revert movement for Fortnite OG No more sliding or tax spring and revert to running animations I like the eyes because I barely play and I die to them because they're getting harder One of the things I don't like is the battle pass is not exclusive anymore it Makes grinding levels feel less motivational and less special Been grinding levels since chap 1 season 2 I used to play 1 XP map for a long time while balancing it with beer Plus it wasn't an absurd amount you'd get of XP that was more than you'd get in 1 hour of beer But was balanced and you just had to interact with a button No way not just love the map interact with a button and go F quite one thing After a few minutes of being asked The XP would stop until you move again And it was a good 1v1 map Thumbnail though had a Zapatron on it No promotion of it being in the map outside the thumbnail But it was taken down I think cause I can't find it by code or anything I'll be honest it is really nice to see a monumental person in this community Talking about stuff like this Especially cause I began to think that it would be Just don't like how every season last chapter has some BS item But then that's easy to use but has a high reward It's like auto trade I've got a lot of days and not only not ranked But also chip or little mommy somehow 1142 who think hacking should be illegal that's not fair, they hacked, that is not making it fun Doc, they need that African servers all don't know what it's gonna be But since December comes the OG season So is the chapter 6 gonna be out for 6 days To me personally, they feel much more satisfying and consistent W video, this is pretty much everything I have been complaining about The Doctor Doom event was so mad like he had trillions of health But don't worry, we are getting juice world, let's hope he's a good event I think it shouldn't be straight up hit scan, but something in between You know that doesn't really make sense What I mean is that they should make bullet travel way faster and reduce the bullet drop a lot I don't know, look, you mentioned it in the video, but they shouldn't be selling shoes for a thousand V-Bucks You could buy their real deal shoes with that money They definitely would've mixed up with crazy aim, cause some game Cause sometimes I'll be shooting at someone and miss everything That's the point of everything, and then they just hold down the trigger and nearly every bullet hits me 
up in revert movement for Fortnite OG No more sliding attack sprint and revert the running animations I like the eyes because I barely play and I die to them because they are getting harder One of the things I don't like is my battle pass is not exclusive anymore It makes grinding levels feel less motivational and less special Been grinding levels since chap 1 season 2 I used to play 1 XP map for a long time while balancing it with beer Plus it was an absurd amount you'd get an XP though more than you'd get in 1 hour of beer But was balanced and you just had to interact with the button No wait time, just load the map and interact with the button and go act with the button so after a few minutes of being at the MXP would stop until you move again. It was a good 1v1 that thumbnail though had a Zapatron on it. No promotion of it being in the map outside the thumbnail, but it was taken down, I think, because I can't find it by code or anything. I'll be honest, it is really nice to see a monumental person in this community talking about stuff like this. Especially because I began to think that we just don't like how memory sees the last chapter as the SIS. Well, don't know what it's gonna be, but 6th of December comes the OG season, so is the chapter 6 gonna be out for 6 days? Cosmetic drops, overpriced car bundles, skin styles being split into two separate skins, bundles vanishing and forcing people to buy individual items and now a thousand BB buck. Shares that you barely see during a match, battle pass increasing ever so slightly in V-Bucks prices as well. Sometimes they receive pushback and go back down, but they slowly inch further and further to see just how much they can charge. Epic is by far not the worst in this era of business, but it's getting ridiculous seeing some of these item shops nowadays. Guys are good. 2024 guys are real. Hail on the collapse, just don't put the collapse as part of the main story. Make the collapse be like a side quest mini story. They shouldn't impact the main storyline on a large scale. Fortnite has become a pure advertisement for the lore. I never have problems with the mini events, but the prelude was advertised as an end of season big event. It was basically just a mini event. I used to not have a problem with AI, but as of recently, I found them really annoying. I just run around for 20 minutes looping and only finding AI just for the last player to be super sweaty and since I'm not prepared because I've been fighting AI the entire time I die, it's not even a skill thing either. I've hit Unreal multiple times in rank and I've been playing for years so I really shouldn't have a ton of bots in my game. I know most of your audience are kids but your videos are actually entertaining to all kinds of people. I don't really play Fortnite that much anymore but it was really important to me in 2019, 2018 and your videos show where Fortnite is going Easy watch, you're my go-to YouTuber. Keep it up there. One of the biggest issues I've been facing is skill-based matchmaking. It's straight up, does not work. I have been playing Reload a lot recently, and I find myself getting killed by sweats a lot. I'm trying to play a few games for fun, and I'm going against players who should be a rank. The only other players I'm going against in Reload are Bugs Lumber. If Fortnite would fix skill-based matchmaking, then I think it would help a lot of people's experiences be more enjoyable. They need to put a separate death zone for controller as is possible. an issue with shields, but I agree with mobility, but people complain when there's immobility. Give the hover jets last season, for example. Attachments were crazy. With all attachments and scope is pretty much a zero bloom, zero recoil weapon. Bloom without scopes was insane back then. Coming from someone who started in chapter one, season one, I highly prefer projectile weapons. to not have a problem with AI, but as of recently I found them really annoying. Since I'm not prepared because I've been fighting AI.